hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One Jonas. We're the men on the sticks. We are the men, and but we're, we're sticking. Gonna, but we're going to keep a close eye on my stick for this yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, we got to really keep it. On of Borderlands 3. So just look at my stick. Look at it. I'm looking at it. Look very, at it. Very, very tentatively. All right. Last episode, Tannis got taken by the twins. Gosh darn it, dude. Why are those twins up to no good? Called back to the ship by Lilith. Not over yet. Uh, no, no, you don't say. Should have known. Dang. Coming. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Stop talking about Tannis like she's already dead. There's still time. Oh, Incoming transmission. I want to kill you so hard. So much hate, dude. I feel we you. Kidnapped your scientist. Oh, snap. You want to see her alive. It's not going to happen. Yeah, because you eat butts. <laughs> Skag butts. Skag butts. <laughs> Did you get it? Cool masks, right? Pre order bonus. Oh, time. Pledge drive. So, spoiler, we are crazy close to opening the Great Vault. We found the key, BT Dubs, and it is huge! So we need a crap ton of Viridium to charge it, and you know what that means. Let's drive! And since our followers go ape shit every time we maim or murder one of you, we put the next one up to a vote! What do you believe it? Weird Scientist was our most requested murder. Hmm. Beat out Annoying Robot by just a bit. Damn it! Speaking of murder, <laughs> Carnivora is getting hungry. Show starting soon. Carnivora. <sighs> Carnivora. Carnivora. Do something. Sounds like a good band. Something. I'm sorry. What's that? Sounds like a good band name. Not bad. She deserves better than dying for the entertainment of two psychopaths. Yeah. Going back to Pandora. Vault Hunter, save her. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna pick up this other uh, missions down here that we aren't gonna do. Sent him to an old Crimson Raiders outpost in Devil's Razor. He's been monitoring COV movements. He'll know what's going on. All right. So if we happen to kill Tarantula, we uh, got it. All right, off to frickin' Pandora. Pandori, dude, I've been there before. Ship set course to Pandemonium. Set my life to yes. Is this, do you have one of the, the head wrap? Oh no, your hair's just... That's not me. This rope, I guess. I know, I'm, I'm talking to the inanimate objects. I do that from time to time, Jones. She's, uh, <laughs> she's shooting ropes around her head. I have, whoa. <laughs> My kind of lady. <laughs> Alright, so where do we go? We go to the Drogets. <clears throat> shooting so many ropes, you make a rope bridge. Alright, we gotta go here. So I'm actually gonna take us to this one even though it's not the most scenic you know sometimes the scenic route is not the route to take i agree i agree sometimes it is yeah sometimes you want to you know stop and smell the roses sometimes you just want to add roses come to you yeah you know? sometimes you feel like a nut sometimes you don't but if you move a little bit closer you see that roses really smell like boo boo Ooh, yeah 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 <laughs> yeah they do no, I know you like to think that you don't stink. Really? Mm -hmm. No, it smells bad. <laughs> Just saying. Do, do I could tell you dumb stories. What does it smell like? Do, do. I could tell you some mean dump tales. I mean, how are you going to tell me a tale? Like, oh, I did this and it stunk. <laughs> dump tales. Woo. Bop, 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 bop. Going to town. <laughs> and a big old frown. I said, dump tales. <laughs> oh, they killed your mom. Aw, oh, scared, bro. That was awful sad. <laughs> I know, right? Jesus. It's like, oh, mother of death. Oh, here, let me check in here just to see if there's a better shield in here. It's level, it's level four, bro. Uh, you are right, You sir. should get it and wear it and see how it works. Hi, hello. I'm alive for now. It seems Iridian professors are like vault keys. Everyone wants a piece. <clears throat> Gallo's humor aside, a rescue would be quite welcome, as I'm to be tortured ah. and killed for the amusement. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just get in. It's fine. I still have some tricks up my sleeve. I jumped in. It was like, nah, dude, you're good. Change the method of my death. Not all details. Are not, you know, you know this, my, my thing is here is that. Yeah. 
I'm lactose intolerant. Okay, <laughs> that's your thing. Yes, and it, that's my thing, and it increases my dumps by like a thousand fold. Like smell, consistency, what? Uh, like all of the above, man. Oh, I got you. That's the way to Devil's Razor. You're gonna have to smash through. That's not good. I missed you, girl. Can I get in? Can you let me in, please. Oh, you just shoot it? You just want me to sh Oh, well, fam, that <laughs> that's all you had to say is that I had to shoot it. Excuse me, sir. I believe that you ordered the stuff. <laughs> but I believe whooping. you ordered the death souffle. I did. You're so correct. Oh, yeah, they ordered that. They got exactly what they ordered. Uh, sometimes I like to serve up exactly what they want, man. Mm -hmm. Other times, I don't. Sorry. Oh, there, well, there's a mission. Let's get that. I even, I even heated it up for you. Oh, we got to kill uh, kill this guy. Yeah, go ahead. Pick it up. Is this a Mountie? Yeah, mouthpiece, bruh. I don't know who that is. I won't. Actually, I love that Once mission. <laughs> I'm not even mad at that Let's mission. Let's do it. Uh, you want to do the mouthpiece? Yeah, might as well. Let's do it. Uh, I think it's close by too. Let's see. Oh my God. Uh, America's next top mouthpiece. Pandora's next top mouthpiece. It's where do you see that? Down about six. Oh, right here. One more. There. All right. Cool. Boom. Uh, so it is actually back in the other direction, but I do like this mission. Are we better at fast traveling there or what? Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be fast traveling there. We are definitely, yeah, we can fast travel here. Okay. And then I will make a new vehicle and then we'll drive. Okay, I'll wait for the vehicle to pop up and then I'll get in it. That is good thinking, Jonas. Yeah, rip me apart, why don't you? Oh, that's your old vehicle. It is my old vehicle. The new vehicle is up. Oh, there we go. I see it now. Boom, I'm inside you. Boomer and Syerson. I'm not inside you. you not inside Boomer and Syerson? No, dude, I've never been inside Boomer. You should try it, dude. It's nice. Is it? Yeah. Is he nice? And... Never mind. It's like, what would Boomer do? What would Boomers do? <laughs> oh, Jonas, speaking of that, dude. Did you see they're coming down on Boomers, dude? It was trending. It was in the New York, it was in the New York Times or something. Really? Yeah, dude. Like, Boomers Boomers are uniting, dude. About what? Like, getting rid of millennials? <laughs> I mean, isn't that their main goal? No, it's just funny because, like, uh, people didn't really know that, like, OK Boomer was a thing. I've used it on you maybe oh, once yeah, or twice dude. in the book. I get it. It means you're old. Or have old, uh, your old thought process is. Oh, well, look at there. <laughs> look, at, look at there, Joe. You decide to end. Mine will be done look soon. At <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, cool. But, yeah, so, like, you know, now it's mainstream. So now it's going to be not cool in, like, a couple months. Oh, like, it's it's finally memed. To the point where it's yeah. like now it's everybody knows it. Yeah, once it's, once the meme has grown to the, that height of popularity, it, it's not funny once anymore. Once boomers are saying it. Yeah, or racist. Once they start saying it too, that's a problem. It's like Pepe. Oh mother! I did some research on that whole Pepe being used as like uh, by hate groups and stuff. Uh huh. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> we'll leave yeah. it to fortune. Yeah. <laughs> happens so if you a <laughs> little bit of it is uh, apparently there's an image of pepe w with a clown nose and like a clown wig and he's called the honkler okay and that is an ancillary to the hitler oh <laughs> the wow and the ideal of clown world is the ideal of us living that in a world that is controlled by jewish regimes and tainted by the uh other cultures that why do they go so deep on things man it's this yeah, because you know it's like when a guy just has like a dot on his on his arm on his or on his hand in that webbing between the thumb and the 
forefinger. What's that mean? <laughs> it's all kinds of stuff, man. Like it's like just like a, they tattoo a dot right there. Yeah, just man. So it's symbolic to like it, it means, other people who have it. Dude, there's all kinds of little things. We should start something like that. You want to put like a little like? No, X, like, what do you want to start a hate group? No, no, not a hate group, bro. Like. We just put like a little, like a little small X on the third digit of our index finger on our left hand on the underside, just like a little X. And then what does that mean? We'll figure it out, dude. What do you mean we'll? Fi- I'm not gonna get a tattoo of something without knowing what well, I'm getting it, it for. We can assign it a, 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 a meaning first, <laughs> and then if we see anybody, we'll get people to do it too, and we'll be like, because we'll do a thing like if you hold your fingers a certain way, it spells out like Optimus Prime. <laughs> Join my group. <laughs> Yeah, Optimus, here, get a, little, get a little tattoo of it. Optimus or Prime. <laughs> I don't know why I would do this. Uh, well, I mean, it sounds fun. <laughs> why would I do this? No, um, I'm, I'm well, good. I can't believe that the people go that deep with it. Like, they've turned a meme yeah. into, like, a, a Hitler clown thing. See, and you know, like... I don't know, man. It's just, it's weird that it's it's, like, such an underground society, but once again... When something has been around and popularized for so long, you can't be surprised when there's some politics involved <laughs> and just like some kind of subversion. I mean, it's got to be secret. Anymore, when anything comes to surface, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, it shouldn't. Like nothing. It like, shouldn't. like, like it could come out that like George Washington was an alien and I would be like, yeah. What if you found out Eminem was gay? Great. Good for him. What if he told you he was gay? What if he called me up? Hey, Jonas, guess what, buddy? Did, did I would think uh, he got famous off uh, slandering his own kind. Do you know that Eminem has a song with Joyner Lucas that is called uh, What If I Was What If I Said I Was Gay, right? Oh, does he really? <laughs> yes. It's on Joyner Lucas's new album, and it's him and Eminem because, of course, Joyner Lucas is like a huge Eminem fan. I'm not fighting you, ma'am. Yeah, didn't he uh, do some things? Like what stuff? I don't know. He's a, he's a rapper. He raps stuff. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, he can come out and say he was gay. That'd be cool. Oh, I mean, I think that's fine. Oh, so you you do recognize the fact that he like talked about gay people and like hitting women and stuff. He, he got famous off gay slurs. <laughs> <laughs> and? And? Beating and killing women. A misogynistic behavior, we can call that, though. I, you know. Yeah. Like when he, I mean, when he, when he straight up murdered a woman in a song. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was like, yeah, it's a good song. <laughs> Yeah, and he took his kid uh, with him with him to throw her off the place, into the river. Yeah, ninety seven Bonnie and Clyde, me and my daughter. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Imagine if I came out with a rap song that's talking about beating women. Now, like how that would work. Uh, funny enough, John, it, it, it might. It probably. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be super controversial now. Yeah, um, yeah, like you, you might get cancel cultured, but on the same note, man, like you know, there's gonna be a certain subset of people who are gonna be like, you know, that's... you see, Obama spoke out against cancel culture. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I kind that's of essentially like where they like that's like just like digging up and like uniting and like getting rid of stuff. I kind, kind of, of agree. Right? Isn't that kind of what it is? Uh, it's not even like digging up, but that has become a part Welcome of back, it. my girl. Uh, this thing. It's more the idea of uh, somebody saying something you don't agree with and then being like, all right, well, we're done with this. Yeah, like, just just, just completely just like went from like popular to dead. Yeah. It's a, it's a slippery slope, though, because it's like, while a person may, nobody's going to say the right thing 100% of the time, you, know, you can't can't cancel him for saying something stupid but then again if you say something really stupid and you maintain that level of stupidity then yeah you should probably be canceled yeah so I don't know. it's like yeah it's just crazy man it's things have gotten interesting in the world it it highly favors the consumer i'm gonna tell you that right now because as soon as somebody or a company says something dumb, they're immediately like, you know, we're sorry. Please still continue to give us your money. 
but I just don't know if the consumer realizes that you're only after your money. Yeah. Am I doing this right? I feel like this is wrong. I did make that jump, and that makes me feel really good about myself. Yeah, you're, you are good. All right, dude. All right, we're going to the map because I'm freaking lost. Okay, so if I hug this right wall right yeah. here. All right, and then this should take me to the first place. Yeah. Yeah, man, but for Obama to, like, come out and talk about something, he's, he's been kind of off the radar for the most part. <laughs> I mean, I guess, man. He's the president. He's done doing that. All right, in here is the first I can't even bring my map up. Really my game is frozen. Know what kind of stuff you're going to find in that weirdo strong box. That's fine, dude. That's, it's still that's, frozen, by that's, the way. That's fine, dude. That's, that's why they're watching my stick. It'll be all right. Looks we'll like figure out the technical like difficulties on your side. There's got to be some way to get that door open. There's got to be some. Do I Look around. smack Maybe this thing? Shoot it? What the hell do I do here? Ooh, there's stuff in there. I want to get in that. Oh, 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 smacked it. Hell oh, yeah, dude, the door open. All right, finally. Not that I envy that task, like, at all. All right, what is this? It's a... Uh, it is a... Putter Gunk's Prize Gunk. Oh, it's Putter Gunk's Gunk. I don't know why not, dude. broadcasting their auditions live. Let's check it out. Coming at you live from the Holy Broadcasting Center, our first mouthpiece contestant is... Your mom. <laughs> Holy hell, what is wrong with your knee? <laughs> what the God Queen meant to say is, why do you think you have what it takes to be our new mouthpiece? Because I'm real loud, and I love the God Queen more than anyone. Oh, I'm in the wrong car, I guess. What? Did I like leave, leave your game? No, I left my. I just brought a new vehicle up. Oh, I got gotcha. you. All right, I'm coming back. Now. Now my, my game works. All right, let's see. This is the right way. I can't travel to. Oh, I'm in a car. Oh my god, this game is good. Next area. This is madness. This is madness, dude. All right. Uh. Nah, there there boys? No boys? They're boys. 100% boys. Alright, cool, cool, cool. 100% You are a boy! boy. <laughs> Back to the middle and around again. That's a good song. Man. It is, dude. That's one of those songs that's like it was good in the time period, but I could never see like going back and listening to that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're at the club and like, that song comes on. Who is killing me? Oh, oh BA Tank, dude. I'm to pick you up, huh? Yeah, I'm out here. Oh, this is Oh man, he's a he's got a quite a, a health pool. Yeah, his health bar is not small. Yeah, we're making him pay with his life now. Oh God! It's the skull, Jonas. It's the mother skull boy. Mother skull boy. It's the mother skull boy. Oh, uh, you can hear the radio. It means there's a radio thing nearby. There is. I'm going to guess that it is up. All right, fine. We'll start over here. Yeah, it's pointing up. Start climbing. Right, not a problem. I'm an excellent climber. I've been practicing my parkour skills. Oh, there it is. That was music to my ears, Vault Hunter. Play it again sometime, would you? You got it, young lady. What? It's on the end of the spire? Found us a chest. All right, cool. Oh, there's a there's a platform. You can also get it from right here. <laughs> yes, I see that now. <laughs> You're like, I gotta walk on a pole? What the heck? <laughs> Looks like the Calypsos are broadcasting another audition. Okay, let's get this thing moving again. Who's next? It's Me. Is this a Furby? That isn't, so, why, that's why the furthest thing from a Furby ever. It's like a Pikachu Furby what? almost. Uh, no. Okay, I, I see what it is, but I thought it was a Furby. The next mouthpiece? <laughs> what? I'm bored. Someone kill him. <laughs> I'll whip you, buddy. 
With your own spy. Next now area. That's the kind of fire we're looking for. That is the kind of fire they need. So we can potentially be the next mouthpiece, Jonas. If we I would want to be that. <coughs> would you want to be a mouthpiece? Heck yeah, Jonas. Mouthpiece for who? Quietly, that's what I'm known around the around the corner as. Mouthpiece? Yeah, in the streets. That's what they call me. Excuse me, I'm oh, trying I, to drive here. I help take care of that for you. Why am I called mouthpiece? You wouldn't you like to know? I mean, we can all imagine. <laughs> you can imagine all you want. Oh, we gotta kill this thing, dude. I'm stuck here too. We gotta kill this boy. I'm counting on your your aim. Well, your driving has to be on point. That is never going. My driving is never gonna coincide with your aim. So you can forget Just that. <laughs> from I, I ever mean, happening. the car straight, not into the wall, <laughs> any of that would be beneficial to me, not. Oh, I'm trying to catch up to his face. There his mouth is. He's dead. Alright, grab up Come his freaking component. Give me that. You got all those audition requirements. I think so. We got it. Now we can do it, man. It's show time. It is show freaking time. Didn't I already clear that place out? Well, yeah. But don't you want to blast some more bandits or what? They're making me go back to the same area. There's something over here. Oh, there's a Typhon over here. Oh, well, I might as well grab slap this. Slap my Typhon and call me Typhon Hunter. Call me a Dwayne. And I buried them at their turd farm. All right. Afterwards, I started thinking. I don't really know how to get over there. I guess I gotta go this way. I think it's this way then. Yeah. I wanna take a ride in the coop? Yeah, I'm looking at your map. This is the rightest way. Well, there's something else right up here. There's another, uh... You can go grab it if you'd like, sir. But I'm, I'm going to keep moving. Feel free. Feel free to do so. Oh, we haven't been here in so long, Jonas. It's been a while since I said I'm sorry. Another mouthpiece. <laughs> sorry. Did you just tell me what I should do? Nope. End him now. <laughs> wow. I know. No, I, I, I'm sorry. That's pretty I steep punishment. Someone hung up that claptrap and repurposed it as a loud Dead. Dead. Oh, yeah, we just gone off. It has, man. This is way back in the beginning, he dude. Killed Mouthpiece. Yeah, we killed him way, way back. Now we're coming back to make him not dead. We're coming back to kill the new mouth, or we're, we're actually trying to be the new mouthpiece. I guess. Or someone else is trying to be the new mouthpiece. Like we should, we should definitely piece it with our mouths. Dude, I've I've mouthed the piece. Can you put a piece in your mouth? <laughs> Once or twice. Whoa. Like, you, you interpret that the way you want. I'm gonna interpret it the true way. Like, I knew you were a wild boy, but <laughs> me and Machine Gun Kelly. Actually, uh, I think we'll get in here on the next episode. All right, that sounds good to me. Cause that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content that you've watched. If you've already done that, you can help us out by sharing the content with all of your friends. Every single one, including your mother. For mm -hmm. Jonas, and TNT we will catch you next time when we do mouthpieces things. <laughs> okay. For now, we or are... Or...